Congee is made in China. It's made in a lot of other countries too. It's a breakfast cereal kind of thing. You can eat it at, at supper too. It's also used for people that don't feel well. It's good for digestion. It's easily digestible. It's been made in China for like thousands of years. And the thing with this is it only takes one cup of rice. They recommend jasmine rice, but I think you can use any rice. I don't think it really matters. First thing you do is in a tiny little colander and I, you just put a cup in there and then you just rinse it right off. And you can see underneath how it's starting to get clear. It takes quite a bit of servings for the amount of rice that you use. Then it takes seven cups of either water or um, chicken, vegetable, or beef broth, okay? I mix it up. So now I'm gonna add four cups of water. And it's not totally even because obviously I'm doing seven cups. <laughs> I have to put my glasses on for the three cups. That in. Bring this over here. I turned the um, the stove on to like medium high, and then I've got the pot on with the cover, and I use a wooden spoon. You can use any spoon you want, but I find it easier. And I'm just letting that come to a boil. So it'll just be a little bit. Just gonna stir it. I just don't want it to get caught. You know what I mean, stuck on the yeah. bottom. I'm gonna put the cover back on because you want it to come to a complete boil. It does take a little bit to do this, but it's not hard. And the servings, I'm thinking there's probably like eight servings in the bowl when you're done, okay? So it would be good if you were one person to have breakfast the entire week. How much does it cost? Like well, it's one only one cup of jasmine rice. So, I mean, my jasmine rice, I bought it at Aldi. It cost me $5 and something cents. And then chicken broth, right? And then I made homemade chicken broth. I would think it's gotta be under a dollar. It's gotta be like a dollar. Yeah, yeah. You could make it with brown rice if you really wanted to. It will take longer to cook. I don't wanna turn it down too much because then it won't simmer. I found that out. <laughs> I just stir it every so often. I let it, it let it simmer. It doesn't take that long, but it's like 30 minutes, I think. Well, it's almost done. <laughs> and how do you know it's almost done? The water is not gonna be completely gone, but it's mostly reconstituted into the rice. I mean, it might have a little slop there, but that's good. Pour this right into the bowl. Hopefully the bowl is big enough. I think it is. Just right. Comes right out, I mean, it's so easy. I put chili oil on mine, but I'm sure you're thinking, oh, she's eating that for breakfast? Yeah. And you can put whatever you want on it, but it's really good. What else would people put on that? Butter on it, margarine. You could put a little olive oil maybe if you wanted to do that. You could put brown sugar if you wanted it sweet or honey or, or maple syrup, I would think you could do it. You could just put salt and pepper on it. Mm. Oh, it's really good. And it's really hot. <laughs> as in, as in temperature hot, <laughs> not in spicy hot. <laughs> but it's really good. And it will fill you up, definitely. Well, did you want to try some kanji? I'm telling you right now, like, you look at this, and you may not think that it looks like very exciting. Definitely put something in it. Um, I put the chili oil in it as well. It's actually really good. I think that it's one of those things like like grits where the what you you add what you want to it and you'll you'll really enjoy it. And um, yeah, this is really 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 good and really easy. So I agree with her. Make it.